October 10th, 21st ranked Michigan taking on Michigan State. Wolverines looking to extend their unbeaten streak to nine matches. <laughs> First half, MSU gets on the board first. Olivia Stander with a nice feed over to Paige Wester. 1-0 Spartans. <laughs> U of M bounces right back, putting heavy pressure on freshman keeper Courtney Clem. Cassie Collins with the long shot. Clem there for the stop, and again for the Kem Ezerike follow. Wolverines, though, do get the equalizer. Shelby Chambers Garcia bends it in off the corner later in the first half. It goes off the hands of Clem. Garcia's fourth goal of the year makes it 1 1. We're a team that loves to attack. So, I mean, for every, like, I guess, 21 shots you get, you're going to get two goals. It just, you have to keep going for them. Second half, Michigan gets a horrible break here. Freshman Corinne Harris strikes it clean, it hits the crossbar. The officials say it didn't break the crease. Clearly a tough break for U of M, as it should have been a goal, but we stayed at one all. Spartans nearly steal it in regulation. Just one minute left to play in standard. With an open net, but she can't find the back of it, and we would go to overtime. In the first OT, Shalina Zadorski off the corner to Holly Hine. Hine strikes it well, but she can't get it past the Spartan defense. Less than a minute left in the overtime, another corner, and this time it's Emily Jaffe, who didn't even see the field until overtime, with a great time for her first career goal, as the Ann Arbor native puts in the header with just 46 seconds left to give Michigan the 2-1 overtime win. Watching you afterwards looked like maybe the uh, greatest moment of your life thus far. <laughs> it was up there. It's my first goal um, in collegiate soccer. Um, Playing in my hometown and beating Michigan State, I mean, it can't top that <laughs> ever. So it was great. I thought it was just a great game tonight. I thought we played well. I thought Michigan State played great. It, and it's the kind of game you would hope for in a rivalry like this. And we got the outcome that we wanted. Greg has been repeatedly telling us that we need to go all out on offensive and defensive corners. And so I just kind of set my mind on that ball and made sure I got to it. <laughs> Michigan is now 8-0-1 in their last nine. Wow, you know, I just told the girls, I don't know what to say. I mean, they just find a way to make it happen. You know, they never give up. They fight every second they're out there, and they got a lot of ability, and I don't know, I don't know what the formula is, but we're gonna stick with it. The Maize and Blue next play host to Purdue on Sunday at 2 p.m. at the U of M Soccer Stadium. For mgoblue.com, I'm Anthony Palladano.